So my friends at Canterbury Automotive brought me this thing. It is in fact a fan motor, but it's a fan motor from a BMW. Now, mostly fan motors don't look like this. They're 12 volt brush DC motors, and they're not bad at all for sticking in a wind generator. When they brought this, it was immediately obvious this was a brushless DC motor, and it's a fairly chunky thing, actually. Now, something like that is really interesting. Apparently, the electronics are gone. But of course, we're not interested in electronics, we're interested in the coils and the magnet arrangement. Now, to get this thing apart, if you flip it over, it's got a line of silicon. Dig out the silicon with the knife, and that bit falls off. And you can see the bearing right there, and three points of wires, which are likely to be the um, coils for the motor itself. But we can do the same thing, dig out the silicon and prise this off. There we go and we get a whole bunch of the electronics because this is run 12 volts. There's a 12 volt wire here. We've got a green and a black which is feeding the power. Sorry, a black and a red feeding the power and then there's a green which is obviously some kind of sense. We can see the electronics here. These electronics are shot apparently. Now they're only held on with half a dozen Torx screws. So I've taken the Torx screws out and we should be able to leave that board out. Now I can see these chunky wires going to the board, so they're going to be the power wires, and I'm going to prise that out and disconnect those power wires. Okay, so when you prise it off, that's what you get. So the electronics used to live there. You just prise them off and you get these three prongs. Now, these are the windings on the coils. And we've got this beautiful sturdy case. We've got these three solid windings. We turn it over, you can see how thick the copper is on there. These are ceramic magnets, it's thick copper with not many turns, so the output on this at low speed is not going to be great. But it is a three-phase generator. So if we connect that up and put that through a rectifier bridge, which is that, and they've done lots of videos on rectifier bridges, so if you just have a look on those, you'll be able to find out how to make that bridge. Connect those up to the three wires, Give that a spin and it will generate. So the amps are a little more depressing. <laughs> we spin that by hand. We can get a few microamps out of it. We really need to get some speed on that to get anything at all. And then we can go get up to milliamps if I can get some speed on it. <laughs> we a milliamp or so. So clearly, we need some mechanism on this to get speed. Now, the torque on this is amazingly low. It's really easy to spin it, but it was meant to spin at very high speeds. So as I say, we need some kind of mechanism on this to get this up spinning fast. The real benefit of this, of course, it was made for a car. So it's a real chunky beast. It's solid, it's sturdy, it's got good bearings. It was the electrics that blew, nothing else. So this is in really good condition and can take that kind of modification. So all I've done is grabbed the bicycle, turned it upside down and stuck it on the bench. And we're going to hold this against the wheel and turn the wheel because when we do that, what we've got is a big gear because we've got a big wheel running a small wheel. Now if we do that, we should get a much more impressive reading. And then Cam, um, to get a bit closer for you, the meter is right there. So let's line that up. And we get 0.6 of an amp out of it, so it's much, much more impressive if you can spin it at speed. Let's have a look at the volts. So that will give three or four volts at half an amp as long as you turn it at speed. So obviously the next thing we need to do is make a mechanism where we can actually connect that to something that will gear in that kind of ratio because with those thick wires, then really this thing is meant to turn at speed to generate. So at low speeds, absolutely piddling, very embarrassing in fact. But at higher speeds when we use this gear ratio, we get some really good output from something like this. So I know I was lucky, because the guys at Canterbury Automotive are just awesome guys, but that is a BMW brushless DC motor from one of their fans, and the electrics go 
the rest of it actually stays in really good condition. So if you get one of those and salvage it, converting that into a generator is a matter of doing something where you get the gear ratio to turn this at speed. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you because it was an absolutely fascinating thing that they gave me. I'm certainly going to do something with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.